So welcome to Japan and today we are at Sakai Fish Farm. They have a very big Nisai harvest on today and we will be taking a movie of that which we hope will be enjoyable for you viewers later on in the next few days once we've edited and loaded it. It's a beautiful day, foggy start, four degrees so it's nice and fresh. So I think it should look beautiful today with this movie footage. So enjoy. So, this is the mud pond for today's harvest. It contains about 240 fish, I believe. And they started to drain this pond down a week ago. And now we've ar arrived at the pond this morning. They've basically opened the sluice gate to let the remaining water level drop a little bit quicker. Um, so it could be a little while before the harvest actually starts but I'm not sure how deep this water is. It needs to be really about a meter deep or less for them to actually drag the net around and catch all the fish. If it's too deep, so fish will keep escaping. Um, so it remains to be seen in the pond down lower or whether this is low enough. This I don't know. It's the first time I've seen this mud pond. So it will certainly be an interesting one today to see their way of doing things here. So I hope everyone that sees this movie enjoys it. As you can see, there's one guy there causing some water disturbance. And the idea is that to basically scare the fish away from that area of the pond so that they stay away from the perimeter and move into deep water. Because otherwise, if you had just one staff leading the way with the net, then fish would basically be going behind him and then would be missing the harvest. So this is the usual technique that everybody uses. Splash the fish, sorry, splash the fish, splash the water, cause that disturbance, make all the fish head in towards the middle of the pond so that they can gather the fish as much as possible. It also serves to stop them pulling too much net out around too big an area. The smaller that area that they have to harvest, it makes it so much easier on actually pulling that net. They're incredibly heavy and you can only pull them really, really slowly.
use koi into the transport tank. Um, it really is a well-oiled well machine, as we say in England. Methodical, organized, and they don't miss a thing. We've been here about an hour now and there's I believe 36 fish left to get. So now they're down in the mud pond doing the second pool to catch those remaining fish. So once those 36 are up, it will then be a case of packing away the nets and all the rest of the equipment and then heading back to the farm. Once back at the farm, you'll see the process that takes place there, which is basically obviously unloading from the transport tank um, but measuring the fish photographing the fish and of course grading the fish into various ponds that they will go into so that hopefully will also be interesting having looked at the fish that are in the transport tank there certainly do seem to be some lovely fish in today's harvest of course it's always a mixed bag because no breeder in their right mind would put all of their best koi into one mud pond it's much better to spread the risk of across various ponds so that if something does go wrong they don't just lose all of the best fish um, in the event of like you know weather disasters that kind of thing but by the looks of it there was 240 fish went into this mud pond and so far there's 204 that have come out so it's a pretty good sign so i would imagine that pretty much every fish that went into the pond will be coming out of the pond so it should be a good result. So here we go for the second and what should be the last pool of the mud pond. It's possible that they could still miss one or two fish, but I think in this case, it's probably quite unlikely. They should have everything. It is possible that sometimes fish will jump over the net, but hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> they're making fun of the guy up on the track because he's particularly tired so uh, they're giving him a hard time and calling him granddad poor guy So they're now up to another 20 fish out of the remaining 36. So 16 left to go. Almost done.
Apparently that's the last of them, according to the gentleman behind me. Uh, apparently there's three more. Three fish either still in the mud pond or potentially missing. Which out of 240 is actually not bad at all. We shall see. Here you can see where the new water runs into this mud pond. So it's either, by the looks of it, will be either spring water or a natural stream that feeds into it. I'm just up there. So now as you can see, packing away, shaking all the debris off the nets. The nets will then be put into the bowls you can see and then carried back up to the trucks. After which we will be heading back to the farm. Now what they will probably do after this is to continue letting the pond run down lower uh, which is pretty much the norm and then I would imagine they will send a member of staff back with just a normal net and a bag and a tank this afternoon to try to catch the three fish that are remaining. So today is slightly different from what I've seen here before insofar as what they're actually doing on this occasion is putting all of the koi into ponds to be rested and I guess in a day or two they will then do the grading of the fish and photographing of the fish and then move them to different ponds. So it's interesting to see all of the fish together in one pond and there's certainly some really, really nice specimens amongst them. This is one of three trucks that they're unloading now, so they won't all go into this pond, it's just too many. So I would imagine that it will use the other partition of this pond and also the adjacent one, um, but that's just my guess. gets any smaller. So now we have the second truck coming back in to be offloaded. This is the most exciting part of any koi work. Seeing the fruits of a year's hard work. And here's the boss, Ken has arrived. He wants the air taken off so he can see the koi properly. We 
Det får det ha sig. Får det ha sig. Ja, nu sätter jag So right now Kencho is looking for all of the top ones to pick up, photograph, measure and I would imagine then move to a different pond. I'm not in Denver. Not for sale. Not for sale? Ah, well, it's a band skiing for you. He's saying that he wants them to pick them up two at a time and put them into the bowl. Two by two.